Hey, what's going on? My name is Hellbent. I'm Rusty AF, and I can't find my regular mic. So there's a lot of bad news, but the good news is today I'm going to be releasing my Toggle Clicker version 2. Um, so let me go ahead and quickly run this, and then I'll go through how to get a copy of it and demonstrate how to use it and everything like that. So this is the current version. All right, and I'll go through everything about it. So before I start, uh, this is only available for, it should say it in the title, but this is only available for Windows 8 or higher, so 8 or 10. And uh, I think that's pretty much it. Um, so let's go over how to get a copy of this. Um, this is being made available as code, as text, as plain text, so you can go in and edit its values, you can look at how code works, etc, etc. So this is all made available as raw code. <coughs> And as such, because you don't have to download an executable, um, you'll need to actually have the programming language that this is written in. Uh, so if you if you already know about all this stuff about auto hotkey and uh, how to run a script and everything like that, you can skip ahead in the video. Um, if not, uh, just follow along and you'll have this done in a couple of seconds. Uh, so the first thing is just Google auto hotkey and then go to their site and then just download the current version. So this is a, uh, if it doesn't say this, it might say uh, version 1.1 dot something something something. So it's version 1.1. So download the current version and once you have that, if you go into any folder on your computer, um, your desktop being a folder, um, if you right click and go to new, as long as you have auto hotkey on your computer, you should get this uh, create a new auto hotkey script. Go ahead, do that. Give it a name. Uh, the name of this program is uh, Toggle Clicker Version 2, so give it that name. Um, and then, once you're done that, you can right click it and go to Edit Script to edit the script. Um, I have I do a lot of programming, so I have a nice editor that allows me to, that has a bunch of different bells and whistles. If you're new to Auto Hotkey, you probably don't have an editor. So when you right click and go to Edit Script, it's going to open up for you in plain Notepad. It's just going to be plain Notepad. There's no colored text, no fancy anything like that. That's fine. It, it'll work exactly the same. Just note that when I run it, it's going to look a little bit different than it does on your end. All right. When you do that, you should get these four lines of code. What you want to do is just get rid of those because we don't need them. And then if you go to the description of this video, there should be a link to a paste bin page. Um, in more options, there's this thing called share link. And with the, if you press that, what it's going to do, what it'll do is it'll uh, link you to this video that we're doing right now. So since the video doesn't currently exist, I can't really, it doesn't really exist here yet, so this, I have to add that in and I'll create a new link afterwards. But anyways, you're going to go to this, uh, in, there'll be a link to this page, or well, it'll be a different page in the description, and you're just going to go down to the bottom of it to get the raw text. You can right click and then press Control plus A, and then Control C, and that'll put it in your clipboard and then you can paste that into your script. Once it's pasted into your script, you can save it and then go back to where you saved your script and you can right click it and hit run script or you can double click. And when you do, you should get this. Alright, now let's go over the operation. Um, I don't, I've recorded this now, it's like the second time, so I don't know if I said this, but uh, this is a very specific, uh, this auto clicker has a very specific purpose. Um, or what it's designed for. Uh, if this auto clicker doesn't meet your needs, perhaps one of my other ones do. So, for example, I got I got all kinds of shit, and just check it out. Uh, pixel search, blah blah blah. So, not ev this might not suit your needs for the tasks that you're looking for, but I probably do have something that does suit your needs. All right. Uh, so, what this is is a toggable auto clicker. So, what you do is you you toggle it on. Or off, and then when it's on or off, depending on what you set the key, the the key that you want to be, um, as long as you're holding down that key, it'll click for you. So you just toggle it on, and then you just hold down your key, and it'll click, 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 click. That's what this does. 
Alright, okay. so you can select between left and right click and you can set yourself up a hotkey to talk to turn the auto clicker on. So let's say I'm going to do Z. So my hotkeys are set. Uh, left click, click speed. Um, it's you can do a random uh, um, you can do randomized values between diff two different ranges. It doesn't matter which one you set it to, min or max. It doesn't really matter. Um, but you can also set them both to the same value um, by holding shift when you adjust and that will adjust, adjust both sliders at the exact same time so hold shift, adjust it there, 20, 20 clicks per second go back and I think I set my hotkey to Z, yeah, so I'll just press Z the animation will stop when, when it's toggled on so that's one way that you can tell that the thing's turned on and then now if I hold down the left click button it should start clicking at about 20 clicks per second and there we go couldn't get better than that alright um, I think that's it so I'll go over a couple of things if you want to there was a couple of features that I didn't end up adding in um, like I, this project just took too long and I, I always have a problem with coming back to projects after months of being away from them so I, I just can't work on this thing anymore so there was a few things that I didn't add in there was a few advanced options that I was going to work on but I didn't end up adding them in and auto save I didn't current I didn't add in but I'm going to show you right now if you want to know how um, how to over, get basically get past this so that way you can actually set your own values so let's go into the code and the first thing is this thing called long click now I would suggest not adjusting this at all but if you want to what this does is some applications requires uh, the click to be held a little bit longer in order for it to get registered so that's this time in here um, there's only so much you can do with this so let's say th this it all makes perfect sense if you think about it for a second but if I set it to click 20 times per second that's 50 milliseconds so if I that's 50 milliseconds per click so if I set this value to anything greater than 50 milliseconds then obviously it's not it's never gonna click 20 clicks per second so there's a reason just understand that and you can adjust this to anything you want um, the next thing is about the hotkeys if you go down to this this uh, function called object setup you'll see there's there's four things that you need to adjust so the, there's these two here this line here and this line here these are the display this is the text that it displays about what your hotkey is um, and then there's these values here which are what in code what those values actually look like okay so um, the control would be this carrot etc etc if you don't know what you're doing what I would suggest you do is only use simple keys like A or whatever um, but if you do know what you're doing then go nuts change it to whatever you want uh, the second thing is you can change in here now I, I noticed this earlier not run this. Uh, you can change the click speed to um, to be a default at a different value but if you don't if you don't change this value as well then it's not going to show you the slider in that position but I, I think let's I'll do a quick test I'll set them both to 20 and if you go in here it should both say 20 now but let's see if it actually clicks at 20 yeah yeah okay so yeah so even though it doesn't change the graphics, um, that's fine. Because you don't want to, you don't, you probably don't want to sit there and figure out the math for the, the positions. But yeah, you can do that. So let me undo that stuff. Um, and I think that is it. I think, I think that's about all the values you would need to worry about. Options. 
yeah, I think that's it. Um, if you have any questions, just leave a comment down below. Anyways, I uh, hope you enjoy. Uh, I'll see you guys on Toggle Clicker version 3. Peace.